Nastasia, back up off of Nate for a little bit. He'll get to that place of vulnerability in time. But not on your time. For sure. Welcome to Cliff Alert. Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 15, episode number 8. And today we will be discussing Stasia and Nick. Mm -hmm. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when we upload new content. So here we go. Yeah, Nate and Stasia have been uh, working out. Yeah, and they look like they're getting closer. Mm -hmm. And because they're getting closer, all the little things about themselves are now coming out and emerging. Starting to come, yeah, starting to come to the surface, I think. Right, because, you know, this this whole experiment is so intense. Mm -hmm. The underbelly of who they are is eventually going to make an appearance. Yeah, and Nate gets a chance to talk with his buddy's name is Derek. Derek, um, yeah. And he was basically saying that, um, telling Derek that he thinks that him and Stasia have good chemistry together and they're, you know, they're... Uh, they're doing good right now. Yeah, um, but he also noted that Stasia wanted him to be a little more vulnerable to open up. Right, because... To get, go deeper. Right, because, because... that will help their relationship for her. Right, because he recognizes that there's a difference in vulnerability that's been expressed between the two of them. Right. Uh, Stasia, on one hand, is far more vulnerable... Uh, at this point in their marriage than is Nate. And Derek did tell him that he has the a hard shell, a hard mm -hmm. exterior, which he, he tried to deny, but it is there. And he said that he recognized that and he has signed up to go to therapy. No question about it. And he also shared with Derek that uh, Stasia had been going to uh, uh, therapy and that uh, it had done you know good things for her right you know based on what she had kind of conveyed to him right. and that um, it was her su suggestion and or recommendation that they go as a couple right and uh, he had never I don't believe ever considered that no I don't think he did because he was just hustling and grinding I see him doing everything that is important to her he's mm -hmm. acquiescing yeah, so he's, trying. he's, he's trying, to. trying to you know because he could clearly see she wants to be in a certain frame of mind and she wants him to be in a frame of mind when they do have sex mm -hmm. and he understands that he gotta try to get to that point because he he, he desires his wife. Right, right. And they want to do it at the right time, at the right circumstance, under the right circumstances when there's, um, there's that uh, uh, culmination of everything that they've been building to, to this point coming together. Stasi needs to be careful because Nate has a, a dark side and it's, it, she can't force him or manage him because you know she's an independent woman she may think that he has a shortcoming and she got to now manage it mm -hmm. and but she got to sit back in the pocket and let him come to her rather than her trying let to it happen let lead it happen yeah let it happen right yeah 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 well the the um theme party for um Nate and Stasia's uh, housewarming. The <laughs> Afro pop. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Threw, they throw back to the 70s. Bush wigs and all that. I, I hope they weren't wearing polyester. <laughs> With the bell bottom pants and the specs. Huh? Yeah. Oh my God. I remember. I remember father. those days too, Mom. <laughs> I remember Woo. my father with those. And the butterfly collar suits. Right, right. What? The group chain. Molly and Esther. <laughs> Woo. But oh my goodness. They, they People showed up and they had a good start to that uh, to that event. I really, right. I really and, liked it. And eventually they split up. Mm -hmm. Stasia stayed with with Nate's friends, mm -hmm. uh, Derek, and I think he had another buddy, a childhood buddy. Mm -hmm. Nate went out to speak with his her sister. Stasia's sister and friend. yeah, friend, right, right. And he said that. Uh, he told the ladies, "Hey, look! Right now, it's going, uh, it's going great so far. Mm -hmm. We still got, you know, we still got a ways to go, but great so far." The sister um, heard a concern from Nate that I think was um, something that uh, was very important to him about how uh, Stasia uh, could be a workaholic. 
she brought up the conversation about the children mm -hmm. that she wanted it sooner than later and mm -hmm. he he had a plan to push it back some for them to get to know each other he's really not interested yeah in what is that two a, to three years or something like that? he's really not interested in having a child right now right now but uh as Pastor Roberson said, you know, a lot of people don't realize that they're equipped to do things, you know, together, right then and there if they want to. Yeah, but still, he's still holding fast to that. He's he's not letting go of that at yeah, all. Yeah, but Stasi is on a, a, a different page, and they're gonna have to come come to some kind of agreement because she's saying, hey, look, I'm, you know, in my mid to late thirties. She's thirty seven years right, old. Right, right. So I don't want to wait forever to do this. If we're gonna do it, you know, we're gonna do it, you know. Well, it's all about the unlocking of Nate mm -hmm. for him to be in that frame of mind to want to be a father and have kids in a healthy way. Right, right, because there's, like you said, there's uh, there's some issues that uh, have not been addressed that uh, I think from Nate and um, they have to be addressed. And have even Stasia's friend told Nate that he got to sort of like calm her down by telling her that sure you've been to counseling mm -hmm. and all this other stuff but I but, haven't uh, I'm has... gonna get to where you are but mm -hmm. it will take me some time right and I thought that was a good script for him to take because Stasia could be all consuming and he needs to just like back her up so he can speak his mind sure and also he needs that space to become uh, more and more vulnerable as they get to know one another because right now he's not there uh, as i said before they need professional help yeah. for nate and her yeah that's because just, there's a lot of stuff going on with him yeah and his relationship that he never had with his mother right and, and he swallows that men sometimes swallow that pain and move on and in fact they not they're not even gonna feel something that happened in the past they they put that somewhere else yeah. and it's not very yeah and he, it's hard for them to bring that forward he's clearly pained by it there's no question about yeah. that a lot of unresolved questions i guess right uh, questions that he i'm sure he has that he never he's just never gotten answers to and anybody who's experiencing abandonment issues is always going to be concerned that the person is going to leave mm -hmm. you know that's why i think he acquiesced to stasia and what she wants so often but mm -hmm. he needs to to slow her find down find that balance yeah, yeah find, find, that, find that, ba that happy balance. medium yeah because yeah. everything she has asked for so far he has mm -hmm. you know done yeah yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's going to be a, a, a big time challenge for them as a unit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's serious stuff. And not only that too, but you know, Stasia has has issues on her end as right. well. That they both can similar. trigger each other. At least proactively, she's dealing with it in terms of therapy and and like I said, they are on the same page about doing it jointly so that they can uh, attack these issues so that they don't um, you know have any kind of. Uh, repercussions moving down the road together. So they finally meet up with the ladies mm -hmm. and the guys. They haven't consummated their marriage and yet. And they're still working to sure. get to that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nate told the guys that, um, you know, they've not had sex yet. They do other things, but the sex portion of it has not manifested itself. Right. And of course, Miguel had something to say. Yeah, Miguel said that he needed to know from the fellas, you know, who had consummated him like it was any of his damn business. He probably thinks if he, since he's getting some from Lindy, um, Nate was so out there initially when they met and he he had that sort of mannerism kind of oh, thing. Oh, he's starting to swell up now, okay. Yeah, like he's, he, starting exactly. to feel himself. he's starting to feel himself Just now. like Mitch. Mitch was feeling himself too. I'm oh. getting sex, so, you know, I'm big and bad. Yeah. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're going to get into Mitch's ass in a little while. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe um, in some way Nate is feeling uncomfortable because he's being pushed to be more... Uh, vulnerable that he's ready to, uh, ready to be at this point in time right and, and you know what's something new um you either continue doing it or you slide back into that person who you were before yeah you revert back and, and quite a few of these individuals who are married is sort of sliding back and it's to be expected too yeah because this this whole marriage situation especially as un as this uh process has been unconventional for all of them Right. involved it's just something that uh, is 
going to take some time to get used to. You know, once the counselor starts coming through, that they give them some sort of tools to be able to hold them in pa place and go forward rather than going back when they're back getting the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, I think Pastor um, Roberson has, uh, in their initial visit with all the couples, I think uh, did a great job going down that road and kind of setting the tone for them and giving them kind of uh, each couple a little bit of a road map in terms of how to get to, you know, uh, where it is that they're trying to go in terms of staying together. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We'll see you in the next bit. Yeah. And practice good. That's the only way it will stay with you. <laughs> it's like a mantra. Yeah, and if anybody's got no, I ain't gonna say nothing. Shut <laughs> up. What are you gonna say? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say nothing. 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 I don't want to start some mess. Nope. Anywho, have a good one. Bye bye. Bye. Who are you gonna?